we invite you to sit back, close your eyes, and enjoy this little adventure with Jessica. The Storm. Jessica lived on her father's farm in South Tittigush, New Brunswick. One of her special enjoyments was to roam the fields picking the wildflowers that grew everywhere. She picked red and pink clover and dandelions, as she called them, and big white daisies with their bright yellow centers. There was always a bunch of flowers in a tall glass on the dining room table. The family called them Jessica's Wander Lush flowers. One day when Jessica was out picking flowers in the back field, dark clouds began to pile up in the northern western sky. She did not hear the rumbling thunder until the bright afternoon light began to turn to darkness. She looked up to see the fast approaching storm rolling in over the peaceful countryside. Jessica began to run for home, but as she splashed across the brook that ran across the farm a mile from the house, she knew that she would never make it home. She ran as fast as her legs and pounding heart would let her, but the big drops of rain that began hitting her hot face told her that she had better find shelter. But where? As she ran, her eyes searched the area around her, but there was no place for her to hide. Suddenly, her searching eyes found the big black stump that stood on the hill in the middle of the cow pasture through which she was running. Jessica stopped. She looked to the safety of home a half mile away. She did not want to hide under the stump but she knew she had better. She began to run up the hill. Her lungs cried out for air. Her throat begged for moisture, but she could give it none for the dryness in her mouth. She wished with all her heart that she had been more watchful. If only she was home in the safety of the cool kitchen instead of running towards the old black stump. She reached the stump, but just as huge hailstones began to pelt the ground all around her. She dropped to her knees and crawled into the opening under the stump's roots. She expected to find only a hole there but was surprised to find a nice, dry, round room-like area inside of the old stump. She quickly looked around her, and before the storm's darkness shut out the light completely, she saw that she was not alone. Two squirrels chattered at her excitedly from a small root two feet above her head. Jessica Stott soon left them, and returned to the storm just outside of her shelter. She heard only a roar as the rain and hail smashed against her shelter's thin walls. She could not hear the thunder's roar, but she knew it was mixing its voice with that of the storm by the lightning flashes that blinded her with their brightness. She covered her eyes with the back of her hands, Forgotten were the beautiful flowers that lay on the damp ground beside her. She squeezed her eyes tight and pressed her hands harder against them, but she could not shut out the wild flashes of lightning that ripped through the storm and the darkness of her hiding place. Her heart pounded so hard in her chest that she could hardly get her breath. She forced herself to sit still. She knew there was nothing she could do but to pray that the storm's fury did not rip up the old stump. 
Jessica had been warned by her mother that this could happen if she was not watchful. As she sat on the ground under the old stump and waited for the storm to pass, she promised herself that in the future she would be more attentive of what her mother told her. She would keep a very sharp lookout for any kind of trouble that could overtake her in her ventures out into the fields. She was in this situation now because she had been on a tentative of her mother's instructions. She had been selfishly uncaring of her mother's love for her. Jessica promised herself that she would let this fearful experience be a lesson to her to take good heed of her mother's warnings. She would listen to what her mother told her. Jessica was so full of remorse for her disobedience that she hardly heard her name being called. She looked around her and saw that the sun was shining through a knothole just above her head. It streamed down onto the two little creatures that had taken shelter with her. She had to laugh out loud at the sight of the four questioning eyes gazing down at her. But her name again came coming from the gateway leading into the pasture turned her attention back to the world outside. She bent down and crawled out of her stump shelter. The brightness of the sun forced her to close her eyes for a few seconds. When she opened them again, she saw her mother and father running up the hill towards her. Jessica began to run down the slippery hill towards her parents. The storm had left the grass and trees wet and shiny green. Water was everywhere. It soaked her shoes and splashed up onto her dress, but she did not care. She was safe, and the two people who loved her most in the world were running towards her. In a few seconds, she was in their arms. She was hugged tightly and scolded by her mother. Jessica, you should have listened to what I told you. Jessica promised. Yes, Mama, I will remember. As they walked towards the back door that led into the kitchen, Jessica heard her mother, mother mother softly, Yes, Jessica, until your next adventure.